So now I want to give you demonstration of how to take the input from the command line and that is the number. Command line input is in a string and I want to take the number from the user and based on the number I want to calculate some task. For example, let me write here one program and that is the class for example demo 11. Now I am writing here main method but before this I want to save this program. So I am just saving this particular program and giving the name that demo11.java. Now I am writing the main method over here. Now what I want to do? I want to cast my number that is available in string as an input in the command line. So command line input will be in a string and I want to convert it into integer. So how we can do this? So very simple. You can just first write the code that is if arcs.length not equal to 0 then do this. If arcs.length is equal to 0 then you can just give the message and the message is what that is please provide an argument. So if user is not providing any argument then I don't want to do anything. But if user is providing the argument then based on the number I want to calculate the square of the given number and the cube of the given number. So how we can do this? Very simple you can just write integer number is equal to. Now if you write here arc of 0 then this arc of 0 is of type string. Now I want to convert this string into integer. So how we can convert this string into integer? Very simple. There is a one wrapper class and that is integer is the wrapper class. So as it is the name of the class your i will be capital which is the function and the function name is pass int in java any function name first word is in a small case and from second word onward first letter of each word is capital so you can just write pass int is the function which will do what it will take your string as an input and convert it into integer so your number will be converted into integer once it is converted into integer you can just print message over here and that is what square is equal to now you can write here that is number multiply by number so you will get the square of the given number as well as you can just write here number multiply by number multiply by number and instead of square you can just write cube is equal to now you can compile this particular program over here that is java c demo 11 dot java now i just want to write java demo 11 and if i'm not providing any argument then it will give me a message please provide an argument now if i pass here number that is 10 then it will says that the square of the 10 is equal to 100 and the cube of the 10 is equal to that is 1000 now not only this i want to develop one more program and that is what if user provide that is the two numbers so based on the number two number i want to make the addition multiplication subtraction and division of this two number so how we can do this so very simple here you can just save this particular program and you can save it as demo that is 12 dot java now here you can just change the name of the class that is demo 12 if the length is not equal to 0 then I just want to cast the first number into integer then you can cast the second number into integer so here you can just write arcs of 1 and here you can write integer number 2 but now here you need to change your code and that is what if arcs dot length that is greater than or equal to 2 it means if the length is more than 2 then it's fine if length is not more than 2 then I want to give the message that please provide proper argument that is please provide at least two argument then and then you will be able to perform the addition subtraction and multiplication now here you can just write system dot out dot print line and that is addition is equal to now you can write number one plus number two but as you know plus is used for the addition as well as for the concatenation you need to write here bracket so here you can concatenate with the bracket here you can write semicolon now you can copy this paste paste 
Now here you can just write this is the number 1 minus number 2. This is number 1 multiplied by number 2. And this is number 1 divided by number 2. Here you can write subtraction is equal to this is multiplication is equal to and this is that is division is equal to. Now here you can just compile your program and you can just write java c demo 12 dot java. Now whenever you write java demo 12 suppose if you pass only one number that is 10. But if you are not providing the another number, then it will give you a message. Please provide at least two arguments. Now, if you pass here 10 and 5, then you will get the message that the addition is equal to 15. Subtraction is equal to 5. Multiplication is equal to 50. And division is equal to 2. So, this is the way you can implement the command line argument program. You can take the input from the user. Whenever user provide any integer number, then you can cast to respective data type. Here, args is the string and I just cast it into integer. Suppose if you want to cast to double, then you can just use the double class over here and you can use the function pass double. If you want to cast it to, for example, float, then you can write here float dot pass float function. In short, every primitive type has respective wrapper class. And every wrapper class has the parse function which can convert your string into required primitive data type. Now, not only this, suppose what if the user provide the value that is in a double. For example, if I'm passing here that is 5.2, then it will give me an exception. That is the number format exception. Why? Because I'm trying to convert the double number into integer. Then what to do in this particular case? So it is very simple. Here you can just use the data type that is primitive data type that is double here you can just use the class that is double and instead of pass int you can write pass double now here instead of this primitive integer you can just write double primitive data type and here instead of this integer class you can just write the double class and instead of pass int you can just write the pass double now you can just save this particular program and you can compile this program again. Suppose if you compile this Java C demo 12 dot Java, Java demo 12. Now, if you pass the same value that is 10 and 5.2, then you will get the proper result, but you are not getting the proper result in division. There are so many digits are there. I want only two digits after this. So if you want the two digits only, then at that particular time you can use the class that is a string class dot format function so here you can just write that is string dot format and here you can just write division is equal to percentage point to f it means it will print the only two digit after point and then here you can just provide the second argument that is instead of plus you can just make it here comma and here you can just close the bracket of your println. So this will be in your string dot format. This is the division is equal to. And this is your actual value that is number one divided by number two. Now you can save your program. You can compile your program again. And whenever you run this with the 10 and 5.2, you will get the exact result and that is 1.92. For example, in a calculator, if I am providing 10 divided by 5.2, then it will give me that is the value that is 1.9230769 up to this. So I am printing only two digit after point and that is the reason why I am getting here 1.92. So this is the way you can pass any number. Now not only this, suppose if you pass here integer for example 10 and 5, then the result will be okay. That is uh, the same result that my uh, earlier program was giving me. So this is the way you can use the command line program to do the calculation and you can convert your string argument into different different data type. So that's it from my side. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.